In a world that is dominated by distractions, it is very, very easy to lose focus. And I know myself and friends of mine struggle a lot to even hold our focus on tasks that are extremely important. Unless, of course, there is a sense of urgency about them. For example, like a uni assignment or like a work project, then we are more than happy to hold our focus for long periods of time, often working into the wee hours of the morning. But for the most part, we struggle. We struggle to hold our attention. My name is Him. I'm a facilitator, I'm a psychology student and speaker living in Melbourne. And I think that the things that I'm about to share with you can make a world of a difference when it comes to your ability to hold your focus even on tasks that might seem boring. So let's get into it. The first tip that I wanna share with you that I think could really help is to match the task's energy. If you reflect and just think, do you think the energy that you would take to a cognitive task, for example, like doing an assignment or doing a little bit of research, is the same energy. Like, is that the same energy that you're gonna be taking to going to the gym or like going for a run? Chances are you'd probably answer no, because a task like researching or doing an assignment is a lot more of a slower energy than it is when it comes to hitting the gym or going for a run. Like there's are two different competing energies. And what you may find is, is very often when you're like scrolling through social media or like you're just like, you know, going through apps or playing games, you might find that your attention can be, your attention span can be very, very short and you're getting hits of like dopamine and serotonin consistently. And like, because like all this is happening in very short, short periods of time, your brain can get flooded with information, like a lot of information and your thinking tends to be very fast paced. I don't know if you've ever had this experience before, but I know when I have activities like that and I then straight away try to focus and do an assignment, it's extremely difficult. Like it is almost near impossible to hold my attention whilst doing that task. And so, what I think and what I extremely recommend would be to just slow down, like just relax a little bit. It might even just be, you know, instead of like going straight into that task straight away that does require your attention and focus, you might need to go hit the gym for a bit. Or you might need to go for a run. Or you might even just need to just meditate. Like meditate's a really awesome way just to kind of like slow down and just relax. Could even be just a couple of deep breaths. Like that, I use that. Like that really helps me when I need to, you know, go and study. Like very often I come back from work and sometimes my work can be very fast paced. We have a DJ in some of our programs. High energy levels and like extremely powerful and, and, and all that. And so by the time I get home and I'm like riding on this energy levels that are like extremely high, sometimes I just need to take a couple of deep breaths just to really slow down and then get into the work. Alternatively, you can match the energies of the day. And what I mean by that is, is that like different parts of the day have different types of energies. And very often you'll find, for example, people like to study very early in the morning or they study like really late at night. I know very few people that study kind of like during the mid hours of the day. I think there's just something about the quietness of the early morning and the quietness as well late at night that just helps people's ability to focus, all right? So you could either, you know, match the task's energy by slowing down or speeding up, whichever, whatever the task is, or you can utilize the energies of the day and then match that and do whatever task would be best suited for that time of the day, whatever works for you. The second thing I think you should do is customize a playlist for focus. Music can have a profound effect on how you feel, so much so to the point where it can actually reduce stress levels and help you get focused. So have a specialized focus playlist just for you when you are doing tasks that require focusing. I know for me, I've been like on Lo-Fi Bollywood recently. There is just something about Lo-Fi Bollywood in particular that just kind of absorbs my whole attention and allows my mind to just melt into the music. It's almost romantic in fact. But like also Dark Academia is like also on like a completely different level of like ability to help me focus. So. Make a music playlist that's well and truly yours and it's customized specifically for focus and do not use it outside of focus time. Like I wouldn't use it to relax or I wouldn't use it to like, you know, do other random things to just make sure that playlist is well and truly associated with that particular focused task and allow those neural pathways in your brain to associate that playlist with focus. And the third thing I wanna share with you that I have shared in other videos before, but not in the context of focus, is action precedes motivation. 
a lot of people when it comes to productivity, I think use this idea that, you know, I need to be motivated first before I take action, which is like very, very common. And I've shared this principle in the past, like I said before, and the idea you want to go with is that you want to take action first, like effort comes first and then motivation follows. But then even on this point, people also skew this and think, oh, okay, as soon as I start taking action, as soon as I start putting effort in, then I'm going to be motivated straight away. My friend, it could be five minutes, right? But it could also be like half an hour, right? Like that's how long it might take for you to actually, for motivation to actually start kicking in in the task. So my ask of you is, is that do not expect motivation to come straight away. Do not expect it within the first five minutes at all. I would say, you know, maybe on average, I know for me, it's like roughly like 15 minutes before motivation and like that kind of like flow state sinks in and then I can remain focused and attentive on a task. And the last thing that I wanna share with you, and I think if you really just understand this, it underpins, it is the probably one principle that you might just need to understand when it comes to anything to do with focus, distraction and attention. And that is just, you need to start practicing being focused because all you have learned so far is distraction. You've just, you've become just extremely good at being distraction. And it's easy because this world is geared for distraction. Like you've got short form content, you've got, you know, content that you can skip when you don't like or you find it boring, right? You can got, you also got content that you can just choose to enjoy or like just choose in general that you enjoy that just fuels you with dopamine and serotonin and you get addicted to it. And so like, it's just, it's basically just geared for distraction. And I know it's hard, but you have to practice being focused. And the more you practice it, the better you'll just get at it. Just, just like any habit that you build. And so if you truly, truly want to learn how to be focused for however long, short, long periods of time, just start practicing being focused. And when you do that, success, um, fulfillment, flow state, it's all yours. It's all in your hands. So those are the four things that I want to share with you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it valuable to you, please make sure you like the video and you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.